Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you how to get neon pets in one day and adopt me. As a neon collector, I have used all of these methods before and they are really helpful. These are the pets I got in just a few days from using only half of these methods. Okay, so the first method is to trade eggs. You can trade 3 to 9 Southeast Asia eggs for a neon pet. This is a really good method because all you have to do is get some eggs and trade them. I suggest trading any gumball machine eggs as those are in game for a limited time. Here is a trade I got for 3 Southeast Asia eggs. I got a neon ant for basically 3 pets. You can also trade in game eggs for decent offers, but it will be way harder to get a neon pet from those. If you have out of game eggs like Japan eggs or mythic eggs, you could also trade those, because then people will give good offers for those. An example is the fossil egg. It's worth around 1 to 2 legendaries. Here's a trade that I've gotten for a fossil egg in the past. It was a win trade and usually you can get at least one legendary pet. You do need to save enough bucks to buy the eggs, but it's still a really good method since you don't even have to age pets. The next method also involves eggs, and it is to hatch eggs. When you hatch eggs, you have a high chance of getting duplicate pets. So if you get four of a pet, you can make it neon. Hatching eggs can also help to grow your inventory, and you could even trade some pets you get for neons if you don't want to age the pets. I can already make a neon Bali starling and a neon banded palm civet from hatching eggs. You could also get legendary pets from the eggs if you're lucky and trade those for neons. Here are some eggs that I hatched, and I got a lot of common pets which would be easy to make neon. If you hatch heaps of eggs you can get tons of pets and it's also a good way to grow your inventory a lot. If you get too many duplicates, you can also try to trade those for neon pets. People will want them since they will go out of game eventually. The best time to trade a lot of duplicate pets is when an egg will go out of game soon. The third method is to trade hyperspeed potions. A lot of people don't know you can get these for free. They just know that you can buy them for 40 bucks in the Sky Castle, so you can get some good trades with them, and even get neon pets. If you don't know how to get hyperspeed potions for free, I have that as one of the tips in my how to get rich video, but I'll also tell you here. Basically you buy a speed potion cauldron for 650 bucks in your house, then you can brew a potion and sell the cauldron for full price afterwards. I have gotten a neon buffalo for 5 hyperspeed potions before, and just recently someone traded me a firefly for 9 potions which is a big win. You can also try trading anti-gravity potions or big head potions which you can also get cauldrons for those in your house. But hyperspeed potions are easiest to trade, since they make you faster and are useful to a lot of people who are aging pets and want to go places faster. The next method is to profit trade. Profit trading can help you get good pets fast and even good neon pets. But if you want to profit trade, you need to have a decent value pet like cow, elephant, kangaroo, or anything that has a higher value. If you don't have a decent value pet, you can trade neons or legendary pets for one, using the previous methods to get those. Once you have a mid to high tier pet, you can trade it for an overpay and then trade a fair offer with some of those pets back for the original pet you traded. Then you can keep the profit. If you have a higher value pet, you can get bigger overpays for it. Here is a profit trade I did with my cow. I did it on my alt account because it's easier to trade on there. Usually profit trades just take two trades, but this one has a few more trades. In the end I got to keep two legendary pets and some ads from doing that. Another thing you can profit trade with is ride potions. Ride potions are the lowest value thing you can profit trade easily because a lot of people want to ride their pets. You can trade one ride potion for two legendary pets and then trade one pet back for a ride potion and keep the other pet. The fifth method also involves trading, and that is to do trade challenges. These are also really useful, but sometimes they can take a long time. You can do any type of trade challenge, but for this video I did common to neon pet trade challenge and here are the trades I did. I started with a mouse and I'm gradually trading my way up. This took me less than a day to do so it's a pretty good method. I ended up getting a neon ant which is pretty decent. I also got a big win trade from a couple other pets I got. I've done other trade challenges before such as common to neon legendary, which only took me 5 days to do. Trade challenges are a faster way to get neons if you have the patience to do them. Method 6 is to trade new pets. Whenever a new pet comes in game, you can get it as fast as you can and trade it for a good offer. People will offer a lot for new pets because they want to get them fast, so you could get a lot of neon pets by doing this. New Robux pets are the best to trade, 
but if you don't have Robux then other pets are also good to trade. I have used this method a lot and I got neon legendaries and even high tier pets from trading new pets. It's really important to get and trade a pet before the value decreases because the value of a pet will decrease a lot when more people have it. Here are some trades I have done in the past when pets were new in the game. And as you can see the offers are really good. I really recommend this method because anyone can do it and it's fairly easy to do. It's also better to trade new pets than waiting for them to go out of game and then trading them because the value is usually the highest when pets were just added and not when they're out of game. The next method is similar to this one, and that is to trade new items. This could be toys, boxes, petware, vehicles, or anything. If there's a new item not a lot of people have then some people would trade a lot for it. In my experience this works the best with pet boxes such as gorilla boxes or duck boxes. You can get good offers on any new item, usually being ultra rare or above. Here is an example with the new pet wear and toys. I also did a couple trades with the gorilla boxes when they were new in game and I got overpays. Keep in mind that items and toys might be harder to trade than pets but I think this method is super useful if you have extra items you don't want because you could get neon pets for them. Just make sure the items you are trying to trade are in high demand because if no one wants them, then you won't get good trades for them. Cute pet wear, new toys, pet boxes, those could all be high demand items. But stuff like common toys or free pet wear will not be easy to trade. The last method is for people who want to age pets and it's to use alt accounts. Alt accounts are really useful when making neons because even having one alt account will let you age pets twice as fast. If you have more than one device you could make and use alt accounts to help you age pets way faster. There's also a way to have multiple accounts open on the same device, but I'm pretty sure it only works on PC. If you have a PC, you don't need any other devices for alt accounts because there is a way to have multiple accounts open on there. Since I play on mobile usually, I don't know how to do it so if you want to you can look it up. If you make any alt accounts, you can just trade a pet you want to age to your alt and then make a family and invite your alt account. Then you can hold both pets at the same time and age pets at the same time. You can do this with as many alt accounts as you want, but it will be harder to keep track of stuff if you have a lot of accounts. This method makes it way faster to make neons, but if you don't have another device or a PC, you can have someone you trust help to age pets. I don't suggest doing this unless you know them Ireland because a lot of people could be scammers. If you are aging pets also make sure to have a grinding house to make it easier. Grinding houses will help a lot because you can do a lot of needs in one place and don't have to walk all over the map to do some needs. I have a few grinding houses and I can say they are really useful, especially if you have multiple accounts on. Okay, those are all 8 of my methods for getting neon pets fast. I hope this video helped you guys a ton and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye guys.